Hey guys, Neil here from Puzzling Parts and just a quick video for you. I threw up the review yesterday of a bunch of Eric Fuller stuff and uh, at the time I hadn't managed to solve the reactor box which was the small puzzle box from Eric that was inside the B-Box. Well, just to make you laugh, about 10 minutes after I finished posting that review saying I haven't been able to solve it, I solved it. Uh, and even more amusing is I'd actually figured out several hours previously how to open it and just couldn't execute correctly. So, anyway, so just a quick video for you. I'm uh, going to talk a little bit about the reactor and we'll finish off that review. So, let me get right into it. Okay, so here we are. You'll remember from yesterday we had the, uh, the B-Box uh, designed by Gopit Kayam and Eric Fuller. Uh, so hidden inside this guy was the reactor box. So this guy is one and three quarter inch uh, cubed. Uh, it's made from mahogany, walnut, and there's paduk on the inside. Uh, so hopefully that's going to keep its nice bright orange color. Now I already kind of pointed out yesterday one of the things that I, I kind of didn't like about this box, which was this sliding panel. Uh, I think it really should sit in the center uh, to give you that sort of midpoint. But as you can see, just from holding it, it will pretty much pick a, a direction and, and shift in that direction. Um, that's a little niggle of mine, I'm not hugely happy with it, but it is what it is. Uh, so here's the first warning with this, there are small parts that will fall out, be careful. Uh, you can easily lose it, uh, so be aware of that. There is a, a small part hidden inside here and it will drop out. Uh, so as you can see, we'll find a tool. Um, Having solved this, um, you know, Eric said on the website there's a couple of tricks to the box. Um, I'm not quite as happy with this as I had hoped I would be. Uh, it's much, much simpler than I had realised. Uh, yes, it took me a little bit longer to figure out the solution than I had uh, I'd liked. But that was down to the fact that it just required a little bit more force than I was perhaps willing to use at the time. So, anyway, you have this box. Uh, I'm going to go off camera and uh, show you what's inside here. So, give me just a second. Okay, so coming back, I've uh, gone and opened the, the box off camera so you don't see what I've done. And inside you'll find a, a small maple box and you can hear there's something inside this. Now, once you got to this point, I think I'm giving nothing away and that there's a very simple sliding panel. And hidden inside that we have the shiny that Eric talked about, this small plastic diamond. Um, overall, this is a really simple puzzle. Um, I was kind of hoping for a bit more. Uh, I don't know where the camera will show it, but let me, uh, let me try and show you what's going on here. Um, if I... Let me just open this side because it may actually be easier to see. So you'll see here on camera, uh, if I hold this up, you'll see there's a number of holes in there. There's sort of four on this side and if I slide to the other side and put this into the camera you'll see there's, there's three on that side. Um, I was kind of hoping for something clever using these holes um, without giving anything away. I was disappointed. Um, yeah, overall, kind of a disappointing box. Um, it's well made, it's Eric's usual standard, but uh, I'll be honest, it's certainly not up there in terms of my favourite puzzle boxes. So, it is what it is. Um, I say I wouldn't let that put you off getting the, the B-Box. Uh, very, very nice. Unfortunately, they're now all sold out on Eric's website, so uh, they've all gone. But um, beautifully made. Uh, exactly what you'd expect from, from Eric. Uh, you can see a signature on the top there and then a the small diamond. So, overall, it's a nice box. I, I wouldn't rate it too highly, though. Uh, far too simple and really not enough to it for my liking. Anyway, that's it from me. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.